geographic information systems and how can they be used? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Otto Hernandez, Associate Dean for the Atlantic Cape Community College. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Talk to us about GIS or Geographic Information Systems. First, let's start by defining what that means. Mm -hmm. Well, GIS or Geographic Information Systems are systems that use data that's been collected and entered into a database and then that data is turned around and used to generate visual representations onto onto maps. So what are some of the applications for GIS? How is it actually used? Well, for example, if, if you were to go out into a community and collect data about the location of uh, stoplights or uh, traffic lights, one-way streets and so on, enter that information into a database and you'd be able to generate maps about the quickest evacuation routes in case of an emergency or quickest way to get to an accident scene or even um, corners where the accidents most frequently occur and you'd be able to represent that data and show that data on a map which is a, a very easy way to look at that information and you'll see on a map you would, what you would see would be clusters mm -hmm. around a particular location. So that's just one example of mm -hmm. how this can actually be utilized but when we talk about it in our everyday lives many mm -hmm. of us go online and, and look for maps or have a sure. GPS system in, in the car is that the same kind of application? Well, uh, uh, GPS or global positioning systems, which is the, what we would, what most of us now are using in our cars, is a sub a sub application of GIS. It falls under the the the, the, the discipline of of geographic information systems. Uh, it, it is probably what most people know as their first introduction to the concept of GIS, and and it's been very good in regard to getting people interested and and excited about what this kind of technology can do. And when we talk about what this technology can actually do, people can actually learn about it at, mm -hmm. at your college mm -hmm. and, and get a degree or a certification in this type of technology, but what are some of the applications that can then be translated into jobs? Sure. Well, currently what we're doing is uh, we started an introductory level course, which is a general purpose course, and uh, we ran it in the summer, running it now, total of about 50 students. And many of those students are from totally different disciplines. Uh, eventually, we will have degrees in working towards degrees in, in GIS and also a transfer degree in surveying and doing some things towards GIS certification. And all of these will lead to, to skills that will allow students to go into jobs across a, a sector of industries that are all that are all really, really beginning to learn and use GIS. So everything from architectural firms to municipal governments can actually utilize this technology. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Engineering firms, it's used extensively in food sciences, agriculture, uh, homeland security. So all our police and fire departments use it. Uh, and, and city and county governments use it for planning purposes. It's a it's an intrinsic part of what they do and, and the technology that, they, that they're using now all the time. This is a new program that will expand in the spring, but I want to talk about what's happening uh, coming up November 18th. It's National GIS Day, and this is in association uh, with what's happening with National Geographic and the concept of, mm -hmm. of really mapping around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, National GIS Day has been going now for a few years, and as you said, it's, it's sponsored by the National Geographic Society. It's a it's basically an awareness day uh, people get, get, to get people aware, again, people that may not know all of the, the facets of, of GIS, get them exposed to it. Uh, it's, last year what we did was invite many uh, high school students. We had a very good turnout of high school students and, and actually we're going to have a much better turnout this year. Our own college community participated. Uh, we have uh, 20 to 25 participants from area industry that, that, that set up tables uh, as exhibitors and speak about how they use GIS in their particular field. And uh, we have three or four keynote speakers as well that will you know, talk about in, in a more detailed way what they do. It's an all-day event, uh, and, and it's an all-day event on all three of our campuses. Right. So we're very excited about it. Well, thanks so much for being with us. And again, National GIS Day is happening November 18th, and if people are interested in signing up for the spring semester, they can look into that soon. Thanks so much for being with My us. My pleasure. We've been talking with Otto Hernandez. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.